Consider this projectile motion problem. So we have a projectile that's being launched on an inclined plane. We want to find out where along this inclined plane it's going to land. We want to know the range that it travels as well as the height. So we need to calculate x and y. Now we're given the angle of the incline, which is 15 degrees. We're given the launch angle relative to the incline, that's 30. But relative to the x-axis, that's 45 degrees. And we know the speed of the projectile, the initial velocity, 50 meters per second, launched at 45 degrees from the horizontal. With this information, how can we determine where along the incline the projectile will land? Feel free to pause the video if you want to try it. Now, in order to solve this problem, we need to understand that the time it takes to reach this point, that is, the time it takes to travel in the y direction and the time it takes to travel in the x direction, those times will be the same. So we need to write two equations that connect the y variable and the x variable with t. So let's get y as a function of time and x as a function of time. So starting with y, we could use this equation. y final is equal to y initial plus vy initial t plus 1 half at squared. So this is going to be our initial position. So we could define it as point A and point B is our final position. At point A, we're basically launching a projectile at ground level. So Y initial is going to be zero. Now VY initial, so here we have V at 50 meters per second. It has an X component and it has a Y component. VY is V sine theta. VX is V cosine theta. So VY initial is going to be V, which is 50, times sine of the angle, but this is going to be with respect to the x-axis. So not 30, but 45 degrees, and then times t, plus 1 half the gravitational acceleration, which is going to be negative 9.8, and then times t squared. So now let's go ahead and simplify that. So we have 50 times sine 45. So that's 35.355t, half of 9.8. That's going to be negative 4.9t squared. So now we have y in terms of t. Next, we need to get x in terms of t. Now, when dealing with a projectile, you have acceleration in the y direction, but not in the x direction. It moves at constant speed along the x direction. So x, we're going to have this. d is equal to vt. So displacement in the x direction, we could just say that's x. v is vx, and then times t. Now we know vx is v cosine theta, so v is 50, and then cosine of 45 degrees. 50 cosine 45, that's going to be 35.355. Vx and Vy are the same because the angle is 45 degrees. So now we have x in terms of t. And we have y in terms of t. Now, we need to find a way to connect x and y. And we could use trigonometry, Sokotoa. Tangent of 15 degrees is going to equal the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So tangent of 15 is y over x. Solving for y, we get that y is equal to x tangent 15. And x, we know it's 35.3. 55t and then times tangent 15. So let's go ahead and multiply these two numbers. 
So 35.355 times tangent of 15, we get that y is equal to 9.4733t. So now that we have that, and both of these are equal to y, we could set them equal to each other and solve for t. So 9.4733t is equal to 35.355t minus 4.9t squared. Now, I'm going to move this to this side because these two are like terms. And that's going to give me a 0 on the right. So 35.355 minus 9.4733. That's going to be 25.8817t. So now we could factor out t. Giving us this. Dividing both sides by t, this is going to disappear. So we end up getting 0 is equal to 25.8817 minus 4.9t. And I'm going to take this term, move it to the other side. So it's negative on the right side, but it's going to be positive on the left side. Now to get t by itself, I need to divide both sides by 4.9. So t is going to be 25.8817 divided by 4.9. So that's going to be 5.282 seconds. So that's going to be the time it takes for the projectile to reach point B. So now that we have that, we can calculate x and y. We could find out where it land, how far it traveled along the x direction, and how high it traveled along the y direction. So let's calculate y by plugging this into that equation. So for Y final, I got about 50 meters. Now let's calculate X using this formula. And let's plug in T, 5.282 seconds. So I got 186.75 meters. Now, let's make sure it's correct. So remember that tangent 15 is y over x. So y is equal to x tan 15. We need to make sure that we have the same trig ratio. So if I plug in x with 186.75, I should get an answer that's close to 50 degrees, I mean 50 meters, if I did everything correctly. And this does give me uh, 50 meters. So we know we have the right answer. So we know that the projectile it landed 50 meters above where it started with a range of 186.75 meters. So that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to solve a typical projectile motion problem on an incline.